gentlemen, and welcome to another rip roaring good time here on the Lorenzo and Sun Show on K98.3. The Bear, hosted right here in sunny New Haven. I'm Lorenzo. And I'm Socks. So now that the formalities are out of the way, let's get back to Socks to hear today's forecast. Because while society may be shattered, Mother Nature is still kicking. Welcome to episode 550 of Unturned Life. Now, before we get started, I want to quickly say, as always, thank you so much for all the support you guys show me on the series. I really do appreciate it. And let's make this a great episode. And as you can probably hear, Lorenzo and Sox's show is on right now. So I'm just listening to that before I head on out. Because what I want to do is head to the embassy where Victor wants to show me something. I think it's to do with the office or what he's built there. So we'll check that out. And then I reckon I'm going to open up the shop and start making some diamond coins. Oh yeah, and you know how I had that issue with this doorway? It was like freaking out on the top here. And it was also glitched out of the bomb. So when I would walk through, it'd be laggy. Well, that is now gone. So there's no more laggy door, which is fantastic. So I don't have to worry about that anymore, which is really nice. Look at this. Oh, it's so smooth. Anyway, turn that off and turn the power off. Let's go to the embassy and meet Victor there. What is that? What the? Someone's built like a custom SWAT vehicle. I feel like I always just start the episodes with me going here. But I'm not here for Reds this time. It's always Reds. And now it is not. So it's going to make a little bit of a change actually seeing a fellow soprano. Uh, here we are. Water. Ring the bell. Hello there. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, uh, I'm here to see Victor Soprano. Oh, yeah. Um, oh. Yeah, I'm not Victor, but I can take you to him. I was going to say, you don't look like Victor, but sure, Rez. Um, <laughs> thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Well, Rez is here anyway. Is him showing you his office. I, I think so, yeah. He said he wanted to show me uh, show me something, so I'm just going to guess that it's to do with the office or whatever he has uh, has built. Hello, fellas. How are you all doing? Hi, nice. Staying hydrated? Hey, Good up? stuff. Hello there, Boris. All right. Oh, here we yeah, are. Some there. I'll put that at my office, so if you want to come in after you talk to Victor, I can show you around. Yeah, sure. Oh, whoa. Hello. Oh, hi. Welcome. Hi. How are you doing? There's so many people here today. Oh, there's the main man, Victor. Hey, Victor. How are you doing, buddy? I have been busy at work. What about you? Yeah, not too bad. Uh, you know, I just plan on opening my shop today. So if you want to stop by, you definitely should. I've got some uh, decent guns to sell today. So I hope to see you there shortly. But hey, man, this place is looking I pretty good. Will. So this is basically the reception area. Reception. Uh, eventually, I'll have a door over here dividing this area from the other in the office. Nice. Ooh. Hey, this is a nice sword. This is really cool. Oh, oh, oh Victor, I almost just sliced Don't your head off, man. Uh, sorry, dude. Woo! Right. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and just put this back. I'll put it back, alright, because this thing is lethal. May have also just taken some of that. Oh yes. Lovely. Thanks for the muffin, man. Whoa, what's with all the swords you got in here? Looks good though. I need to get some more swords. I should really sell swords in my shop actually because obviously all I really sell is guns at the moment. Furniture in the future once I get my hands on some. But yeah, right now it's just weapons to be honest. Like guns. No swords though. But I would love to sell swords too. All right, Victor. Well, I'm uh, I'm really happy that you're selling in here in the embassy because when Reds gave me the initial tour... The Sopranos didn't really have too much, so it's great to see that, you know, we're actually getting an office built in here and all that good stuff. So I'm hoping in the future there will be more built and maybe I'll get my own office in the embassy. Who knows? Probably not. That probably won't ever happen, but yeah, that would be nice. I, I'll definitely modify some stuff. Nice one. Thank you, Victor. All right, I need to go check out Reds' office now. So nice to see you both. All right, keep up the good work and I will catch up with you both soon. Also, one last... There we go. Sorry, I had to do it. Okay, let's check out the Blue Berets office. I've right, actually seen this before. Oh, coffee machine's coffee not working. Machine does work. I just already drank the coffee from it. Okay. I was Why tired. Why would you do me. that? I was really tired. Okay, but anyway, hey, Boris. Uh, uh, hey, man. You yeah, I've not drank, drank too much in it. Coffee? So I don't get any coffee? I've, I've drank it already. I'm sorry. Oh, Again, I man. I drank it. Whoa. <gasps> you have a fish tank. Oh, a little bit, hey, yeah. hey, hey, Reds, before you give me the rest of the tour, I will pay you to make me one of these in my room. All right. I know I probably shouldn't be spending my cash on, you know, stuff like this, but it's it's, it's really cool. I mean, yeah, uh, I can get one done. Fairly That'll soon. be so cool. Uh, when yes. Would you like it done? Um, mm, when do I want it done? I might be able to pay you tonight. <laughs> 
I might be able to give you some cash, all right? Because right? I'm I'm excited for a fish tank. Again, probably shouldn't be getting a fish yeah, tank no, with my there's, money, there's but I'm going to, to anyway. Not the biggest place, of course. We've got a much bigger place at our base, but yeah. Look at these guns and the knives, bro. This is awesome. And popcorn. Elias doesn't have his stuff up yet. He's, he's very busy, as you know. Yeah, well, I haven't really heard from Elias in a while. Is he okay? He is doing really well, actually. Yeah, and um, we're nearing completion of Operation Blue Dawn. Hoping to reveal that to you soon. Well, reveal it to everyone soon. Yeah, it's been it's been a long time since yeah, this Operation know. Blue Dawn has been going on. So whatever it is, man, I'm expecting this thing to be huge. I'm expecting to be blown away. What is that, Lorenzo? Lorenzo, what are you there doing? Here? Huh? I'm no, checking out no, my office. No. I, I get lost no. in here. My like man. Right, Sopranos. Yeah, it makes sense for you to 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 be here. Okay, I'll um I'll leave you to it. Also, did you end the radio show? Um, we 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 bonk. hit 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 a snag. Unrelated. Why why did you say that with such? Oh yeah, you're you belong. What what was that about? Sorry, I just I uh, I didn't expect to see you in here. I keep forgetting that. Uh huh. Yeah yeah no finish that yeah finish that finish that statement. No 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 finish that statement. <laughs> You're on my payroll. Hey, Remember that. I just, I just didn't expect to see you, all right, here in the embassy because you, you know, with the radio show and everything, I just assumed that you'd still be going uh -huh. on with that. So I was kind of shocked uh -huh. to see I you. Know, I know what I'm not wanted. I know well, what I'm not we, wanted. We've upset Lorenzo now. Great. I didn't mean to. Sorry about that, Reds. Right. Anyway, where were we? <laughs> yeah, we're just saying that the Operation Blue Dawn will be worth the wait. It has been a while, but. Yeah, trust me. Do not. Oh, I am. I am very hyped. So next time I see Elias, it better be to do with Operation Blue Dawn. It's been well overdue now. I feel it's been going on for a long time. And what was that? Did you guys hear that? Okay, everyone, head on out. Are we okay? Yeah, Why is there so many people in the embassy right now? I'm gonna get to the roof and check it out. I'll check it out. Wait, a car exploded? What car? Yeah, it's just cards. Hey, let me jump over here real quick. Well, I think I found where the explosion was. Must have been right here. Okay, anyway, I'm going to go ahead to my shop now. I'm going to go ahead and open it and uh, make some money. So, Reds could see you. Victor, wherever you are, thanks for the uh, the little tour. Check out, check out my shop if you're interested. Yes, free advertisement. Go, go, go. <laughs> This is if so anyone good. anyone sees any mole people, Forest, let me know. Mole people? They are. Yeah. Oh, hey, Duck. Can I ask for a favor real quick? Uh, on your way to the shop, uh, if you look over here, my car is actually stuck. Wait, what? Oh. How did you do hey, that? popcorn shop open? What? what? Oh, I don't know. Is there anything I can do to help you, man? Actually, I, I don't know. I can't get how, out. Like, how does Duck do this? I don't my understand. Car he, went, he went up there. Duck is always getting himself into weird situations. The wedge uh, hey, Duck, good luck with that. All the best. I Can't hope you reach. can get it down. I'm going to leave you to it now because I have to make some money, all right? I've got to make some diamond coins at my shop. All right, let's go. <laughs> hopefully, uh, hopefully, Duck gets to sort that out. But yeah, as you can tell, I've actually gone ahead and set up the weapons now, like I said I was going to do in the last episode. Which, by the way, if you didn't watch, the reason I have these guns... It's because we found the thief that was stealing a bunch of the Blu-ray stuff, even the Soprano stuff, I believe, as well. And Red said that he would go ahead and give me the guns Hi. that we found. So, yeah. Thank Hello, Victor. You. Welcome to my shop. You are my first customer today. So, is there any guns here that tickle your fancy? Let me know. You have to drive Hold up. On the wrong Hold up, Victor. What, what is going on out there? Excuse me? What? What is this? What? You this want popcorn? My business. Reds, are you stealing my business right now? Th these could all be my customers, and here you are selling popcorn outside my shop. Hey, this is, this is no, bringing more people to your guys. area, and then they could go to your hey, shop. You've got a massive line, dude. Look at how many people. All right, you know what? Fine. You sell your popcorn, and I'm hoping that these uh, people will, uh, you know, come to my shop. I can't believe Rez has just done that. Look at that. Just set up a business right outside my business. Sorry about that, Victor. Where were we, man? Oh, yes. I wanted to buy an M4. Sure. An M4. Well, we've got two on display. We've got one here and then one here. They've got, I think it's just a, a, the attachments that are a little bit different. Personally, I would go for this one since you get a suppressor <laughs> and also a bipod. But, you know, it's, it's completely your cool. It's whatever you fancy. I'll take this one. 
Take this one. I'm Good choice, my friend. I, I'll do you a special deal. Two diamond coins, all right? Runza. I think two diamond coins is actually a decent price. It's not right. too crazy, Runza. not too cheap. There, two boy. diamond yeah. coins. There's one. There's two. No, Wait, what? Peel. Three? Hmm. Thank you very much. And there is your weapon, my friend. Enjoy it. Take good care of it. And if you want to buy some more guns in the future, you know where to go. Oh, look. The Blue Berets are all here now after getting their popcorn fix. See ya, Victor. Okay. Um, I have no idea who is first, first in line. How much do you want for your rocket launcher? Oh. Um, I actually forgot I had that RPG on show. Um... I don't know if I want to sell it yet. Give me one second and let me discuss this. Now, my question to you all is, should I sell it or do I keep it? Because I'm kind of thinking that maybe I should keep it. Although, we can make some decent money from that thing. Also, side note, yes, I am wearing my farmer's hat once again. I thought I would just do it for the nostalgia, you know, since it's episode 550. Anyway, we should probably head back out there and start selling some more guns. Sorry, I'm back. All right, I'll tell you what. No Wait, where's my... Did you... Did someone destroy my stuff? All right, you know what? Doesn't matter. All right, don't need it anyway. But unfortunately, I will not be selling... I will not be selling the RPG today. But I might be in the future, okay? So you just... You, you hold off on that. But anything else, you can buy. All right. Okay, All right. Boys, how can I help? Let's go. For some ammo. Sorry, not selling ammo today, I'm afraid. Don't really have too much on me, and I want to use it for myself. However, guns, go ahead. Okay, how much is the sniper? Ooh, sniper. Now, this sniper right here, it's an advanced rifle. Bipod comes with it. Uh, got a uh, good old scope there. Range finder, too. Look at that. I will take three diamond coins. I think that's a great price. If you go ahead and drop the coins on the I'll counter for me. For it. I don't have that much money. Wait, what? Sorry, is this a I bidding got, war I'll, now? I'll pay, I'll pay five for it. Okay, fine. I really okay. want it. Whoa, 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 whoa. I uh, okay, well, there we go. Sorry. Sold. <laughs> Apparently, this is a bidding war now. There you go. Take the sniper. Oh, man. Am I allowed to do that in my shop? <laughs> I feel bad for Thank the original you. person. I wanted it. I enjoy. Oh, man. Well, he wanted to pay a higher Good price. Boy. So, yeah. Hey, Socks, how you doing, buddy? Um, not very well. I had an ordeal with mole people this morning with Lorenzo. Uh, but anyway, how how much? I don't is know this, who these uh, mole heart, people are. Heartbreaker here. Uh, I'm gonna take one diamond coin for that, please. I'll pay three. No, I, I need God to stop the bid war. No. It's fine. It's fine. Nice one. Enjoy. Thank, Thank you. you, socks. Goodbye. Hello. How can I help? Goodbye. Hey, can I do a trade for that Vonya? Well, you what do you have trade? to trade? Um, oh, you, you I mean. Y young man. I've got, Something I've tells got me that one. that is extremely, extremely unfair. So wow. therefore... I mean, I could take something away from it if you want. Oh, look quite uh, dangerous. Yeah, because I feel like I'll be ripping you off big time Ladies there. So why don't you take a couple more guns? I don't know why he wants to trade that for this. But you know what? No, if that's what he wants white. to do... Then fine. Uh, I accept. There you go, bro. Thank you very much. Sorry, hold off. Something's happening outside again. Uh, excuse me? Can you keep it down out here? You're scaring my customers. We got Duck here trying to destroy the news van. All right. I got this under control. Don't worry. I got a car jack myself. There you go, Duck. Problem now solved. Or is it? Uh-oh. And oh, are you okay? Here, no, let me no, let me save you. Hang in there, buddy. There you go. Oh man. Whoa, it's on the bank. Oh no. Right, once again, I do apologize. There's a lot of weird stuff going on outside the shop. Okay, it's not my fault. It's just that the people on the Unturned Life server are a little crazy. Anyway, how can I help you, sir? About the M M249, what do you want for that? Ooh, I'll take two diamond coins for that, okay? I mean, that's a, yep, I'll, a nice I'll price. I think I'll I've said that it. about every I'll every gun I've sold it. so far, but two diamond coins, not bad for an M249. One diamond coin, two diamond coin, and there you go. I got, I got, oh. I, you, can, you can have a crate too. For me. Wow, thank you. I actually do need some more storage from my house. I appreciate that. Cheers. I got a crate as a tip. Where's Wait, is that beans? <gasps> beans! Beans! No, duck. No, that's mine. Yeah. Boy. Thanks, dude. Oh, no, yeah. Nice. Hey. Hey, hey, duck. Put the gun down. That does not belong to you. This is a paying customer, and you've just stole it from him. 
You will be banned from this shop if you do not return the weapon immediately. Yeah, All right, everyone, bike, surround him. Guns out, everyone. Surround him right now. Surround him. No, my ammo. No. Drop my it. Bike. There we go. Oh, wow. He took okay. the mag. What a savage. I need to put him down. Okay, the shop is closed. The shop is closed. I am sorry. It's just getting a little crazy. It's getting late. There we go. And close. Okay. Well, that was extremely hectic. However, we made some decent money. I'm going back to my apartment. And I am going to wait till the next day to just do whatever I need. Maybe looting. I think looting might be a good idea since I did just sell a bunch of guns. I could do it finding some more. But yeah, let's, uh, let's get some rest, shall we? Let's get into the bed. There we go. Why is the radio on? I never turned it back on. So now that the formalities are out of the way, let's get back to... Socks? Oh my goodness, Socks, Socks, get the Remington, the mole people are back. Mole Again. people? Why would Why I lie about talking this? talking about these mole people. Help me, they have knives this time. W what about today's news? Every time I listen to this radio show, these guys are talking about mole footage. people. Who the are these mole people? I don't get it. Until we can clean the place out of the mole. All right. Uh, that doesn't sound too good. I can see them. Whoa. Um, they're under. Oh, they got one. So that's what the moment looked like. Oh, they, you they got messed up. Back. Whoa. This is, not good. this is not good. The moment they've just taken them down. I need to get out of there right now. Knives. Guys. They can hold knives. Socks. The mole people. Oh, they can hold knives. We told you, we told knives. you about the mole people. You thought I was crazy. Like, you were like right. most people do. Lo and behold, they, they it's like the goblins. Knives. It's the goblins all they over again. Knives. The goblins, but now it's the mole people. Oh, I, I saw, I was literally, I looked they, out my window and I saw you guys knives. sprint out with the mole people behind you. And then you pretty much just blew their head off. So well done for killing them, I guess. They, Wait, they so these, knives. how many of these people are around anyway? And, and why do they want to uh, kill us? I, I don't know, but I do know they have been coming up through my floorboards. In, in the station recently. Oh, uh, well, you're gonna have to get that checked out, why. that's for sure. I'm glad you guys oh, are okay. Man. If you ever need my help with uh, the fight against the mole people, okay. let me know. All right, Socks, it's all right. It's gonna be fine. Um, the threat has been neutralized, all right? It's been <laughs> neutralized. The best piece of advice I can Jeez. give is avoid any sewers. Avoid the sewers. So that's where they're. Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Is that one? That's Noah, that's Noah, that's Noah, calm down, calm why down. Is no, why is he dressed up as a Molman? Uh, did you, do that? No, did you steal you his clothes? That? Dude. Oh, man. I, I, I could have I shot you, dude. You're gonna give me I could have I could have shot you. All right, anyway, look. All right, I'm going to go head out looting. I need some more stuff. So um, if you have any more, right. more mole people issues, let me know. I was literally listening to your show. Oh, For some reason, know. it came on onto the radio. That's what actually woke me up um, yeah, yeah, and we then were, we yeah were recording yeah that's why i looked out the window to see if you guys were okay and then that happened so that was pretty uh, crazy Lorenza. but um yeah i'll leave you guys yep. to it good luck with the mole people situation oh, now of course i don't actually own a car so i'm kind of hoping to go to the blue berets for a little bit of help with this looting trip uh oh reds is actually here hello reds how you doing good morning doing good how are you yeah, not too bad. I see you got a sniper up there. Whoa. Oh, that's a sniper I saw to him. Um, anyway. Yeah, doing good. I'm I'm just actually hoping you can help me out a little bit. Uh, I kind of need to borrow a vehicle if that's okay. I'm going out looting, and as you know, I don't have any vehicles myself. So if I could just borrow a, a car, a tank, maybe? I don't know. I'll, uh, I'll bring it back safe and sound. Uh, well, actually, uh, Marcus was just heading out towards the east. As we've noticed some east. irregular movement over there on the map, so we're just going to okay. send him out there, uh, see if anything's up. But you don't mind him going along, do you, Marcus? Well, that works out. Uh, you can come if you want. Okay, sure. That's actually perfect timing. I appreciate that. Thanks for letting me uh, tag along. Um, should we head off? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. All right. See you, Reds. Cheers for this. See you. Let's good one. go. All right. Perfect timing. So, I'm now getting a lift with Marcus here. They said something about movement from the east. 
No idea. Either way, I'll check it out with Marcus. It's going to be a win-win situation because it means I can loot and he can check out whatever it's, it is being picked up, I guess. So, uh, yeah. It's something I haven't really done too much uh, on this map is actually gone looting. And especially now that I'm low on supplies in my shop, this is definitely something I need to do. Furniture, guns, ammo, attachments. Those are the main things that I'm going to be looking out for today. Uh, but anything else? You know, I will pick up and maybe I could sell it elsewhere or even trade it. You never know. Now, this is our first spot. I've been here before. However, I didn't come here to loot. Wow, that zombie went flying. I actually came here for the Horde Beacon, which was in a previous episode. Doesn't look like there's much here. I'm really hoping to hit some of the military spots. I think it would be the best idea. Whoa! Zombie came out of nowhere. Got him. What is that? That is a zombie's leg. <laughs> what? Where did he go? <laughs> He's gone. There's no loot in here. This place sucks. It's only like a civilian location, so I don't think they'd have anything good anyway. Ooh. It's locked. Oh, man. I can't get through there. It doesn't look like there's anything inside anyway. I wonder why it's locked off like this. That is a little odd. And we are out of here. Shame about this place being absolutely terrible for loot. And of course, in the last episode, the person that lives above this tunnel, we dealt with. So he's not going to be an issue anymore, which is uh, quite nice, I guess. Okay, I'm not sure what's actually down here. On the right, if I'm not mistaken, there's actually a city there. I'm pretty sure. But it could be the one that Elias told me not to go. Oh, wait, there was a mega on this bridge before. So we've got to be careful. Oh, careful, dude. Zombies, zombies, zombies. Jump, jump, jump. Yeah, but... Okay, there we go, there we go. Is there a mega? Whoa, 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 what's that? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Marcus, take cover. What is that? What is that? You good? I don't know. Yeah. Oh. That doesn't sound too friendly. Okay, just stay low. Marcus, there's an enemy vehicle. Marcus, it's... It's them. That's the Fugus forces. Oh, we got helicopters. Blue Berets are here. Reinforcements. Okay, engage back, engage back. One down. Their vehicle's getting destroyed. Nice. I'm glad the Blue Berets got it quickly. It's an ambush. How did they know we were going to be here? All right, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. I've got a grenade. Oh, look at that. That is awesome. All right, grenade out. Take cover. Vehicle destroyed. Nice. Hey, fellas, good to see you. Great timing. We got ambushed by Fugus forces. I mean, I always knew they'd be back, but I was hoping it wouldn't be for a long time yet. Good work, good work. Okay, check the flanks, check the flanks as well. That vehicle was destroyed. Uh, I believe all the Fugus are down. That vehicle also destroyed. How did we survive that? Guys, thank you so much. How did you how did you know we were under attack? Well, we knew there was some sort of movement down here, like I mentioned, so we were all pretty much on guard, and then Marcus gave us the word as soon as, as, soon as he heard. You got here so quickly. I can't believe that. That gives me so much confidence in the Blue Berets if anything happens again. But um, you know what this means now. It means the Fugoists are back, and, well, we're no longer safe. Yeah, well, we need to find out where they're working from and try and neutralize it as quick as we can. That's true. Is this area definitely secure now? There's definitely no more around. You know what? I'm just going to take some of their stuff. Dressings. Some water. Why not? Okay, fellas. Let's uh, let's pack up and go. I guess that's what the movement was then, Reds. It was Fugus forces. Yeah. All right, let's get this vehicle repaired and let's get out of here. I'm going to cancel my losing trip. Man, I did not really get anything at all. All right, he's repairing it now. Back, it'll be a little bit quicker than the Humvee. Uh, yeah, sure. What about Marcus? Does anyone want to go with him just in case he gets attacked? Yeah, I'll go, go, with, I'll go with him. I'll go with him. All right, good stuff. All right, stay safe, guys. See you back there. Okay. Right, I'm taking the helicopter. Probably a little bit safer, maybe, to go, <laughs> go by uh, air. Probably not actually thinking about it. If they've got guided missiles or anything, then, uh, well, we are, we are toast. I mean, look at how fast we're going in these little birds right now. I'm not actually surprised at how quickly these guys got to us. 
But what would happen if they didn't get to us? Because we had two enemy vehicles on either side that ambushed us. I don't know what we would have to do. We'd probably have to, like, jump off the bridge, use an umbrella to escape or something, which would have been pretty cool, actually. Anyway, we're back at the embassy. Oh, what a day it has been. Cheers for that, guys. Thank you so much for the lift. Well, on that note, I guess it's time for me to end this episode here. But just before I do, I want to quickly say a massive thank you to you all for the support on the series. As always, it's been amazing. And Unturned Life has seriously changed my life and the channel. I know that sounds a little crazy, but it really has. And I just really appreciate it every single one of you that watch these episodes. And I also want to thank everyone that gets involved with the series in terms of the behind the scenes and, you know, the Blue Berets over here for just saving my life as well. Uh, but seriously, from everyone in Unturned Life helping me out to everyone watching, I really appreciate everyone. So, uh, yeah, it's been a crazy roller coaster ride making this series, but I've loved every moment of it. And, um, yeah. More episodes are on the way soon. There is one more thing to discuss. As you know, I don't do the face cam stuff often. However, if you do like it, there is somewhere you can watch the face cam all the time. And that is over on Twitch, which the link will be in the description below. Uh, so yeah, if you want to hang out, feel free to do so. But this has been episode 550. I hope you all enjoyed. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And I shall see you in the next one. Goodbye.